Hello viewers, welcome to this week's special edition of Raxio Hour. The Uganda Internet Exchange Point UIXP went live at Raxio Data Center. The Uganda Internet Exchange Point UIXP is a non-profit organization founded in 2001 with the goal of improving internet connectivity within Uganda and the East African region. The UIXP enables networks to directly interconnect and freely exchange data traffic within Uganda. This keeps local traffic local and makes the internet cheaper, faster and more reliable. We had a chat with Kyle Spencer, the Executive Director at UIXP and Mike Watampora, the Technical Director at UIXP. Here is what they had to say. The Uganda Internet Exchange Point, otherwise known as the UIXP, was founded in 2001. We're a non-profit organization and our goal is to improve internet connectivity in Uganda and the East African region. So how we get that done is um, we create an environment where multiple or different uh, service providers or content providers in Uganda can come and interconnect with one another at a far much lower cost than it would be to send the traffic internationally and then back into Uganda. So we provide an environment where different service providers again and uh, content service providers can come, meet up and exchange data. When we expand into Raxio, that'll mean that we have two locations where networks can interconnect with each other uh, in Uganda. Uh, that'll mean that the service is more reliable in case one goes down, the other one will be online. It also means that uh, networks that are more comfortable in one location can go there and still interconnect with networks at the other because the two sites are going to be linked. So it gives networks choice as well. And also because the Raxio data center is a large uh, carrier neutral tier three facility, it'll accommodate uh, networks and other types of uh, data customers that we can't in our current facility, which is uh, a bit smaller and not purpose-built for hosting and co-location. We also look at the possibility of um, being a central point of connection for East Africa. Where countries like Rwanda, Congo, South Sudan can be able to easily pick up traffic from other multinational companies that are in Raxio instead of having to go way out um, to get connectivity to them. So for Ugandans, one of the things we should be excited for is this puts us at a very strategic position to be able to host multinational companies, make it cheaper for Ugandans to access the internet, make it faster for them and lower latency um, as well. It's a win-win for us. The expansion into Raxio will have a big impact on, on the Ugandan economy for all the same reasons that uh, internet ecosystem development has an impact on the economy, right? Like, if you can imagine what the economy would be like without the internet, then imagine, you know, what happens when the internet gets cheaper, faster, and more reliable, right? Uh, low latency connectivity through an internet exchange point also unlocks industries um, that require low latency connections between networks, uh, forms of entertainment like online gaming, uh, it makes it easier for content companies like Facebook, Google, Netflix, YouTube, whatever, to interface with the Ugandan internet ecosystem because they can plug into the Uganda internet exchange and directly interface with all the other networks in the country. Um, so all of this has a, a significant uh, indirect benefit on the economy at large. Interestingly enough, Kyle, when you say that, um, one of the things that Uganda will benefit greatly from is uh, Ugandan content providers. Um, people within Uganda who are building services, building content, building applications and have a hard time um, accessing a wider market. Um, the UIXP at Raxio gives Ugandans an opportunity. Build your software, host it at Raxio, host it anywhere within the country and by virtue of UIXP being uh, present at Raxio, it gives you a wider connectivity of possible clientele. So whatever, whatever you can think of as a Ugandan that you want to create as a service or a product that can be accessed over the internet, the UXP in Raxio gives you a much wider uh, access of people that can be able to purchase your services and make use of your products. Yeah, that's a good point. And uh, even more fundamentally, it enables these local startups sometimes to exist at all, yeah. right? We have uh, one, of our, one of the networks connected to our infrastructure is a local video content company, right? You can think of it a bit like a YouTube. The internet connectivity that they require is very expensive, right? They have to send a lot of video over networks to people, uh, users on Uganda networks, and that's super expensive unless they get their bandwidth through the Uganda Internet Exchange Point. So they, they had to make that transition as a local startup from using an internet service provider to deliver their service over the internet to peering directly at the Uganda Internet Exchange Point because that dramatically lowered their costs and improved the performance of their service. Uh, and they're one of our largest peers now, right? So that's, that's a, one of the ways that our service facilitates local startups.
but now we're at the point where their service is growing as a result and we don't have the rack space, but Raxio does, yeah. right? So now they can shift into this larger warehouse called Raxio and, uh, and, and now they can scale up off the back of the internet exchange in Raxio's carrier neutral facility. Thank you both for those insights. The UIXP expansion into the Raxio data center makes it easy for Raxio customers to directly exchange data traffic with numerous local, regional and international networks. This creates a massive opportunity for connectivity, cloud and enterprise customers who need fast and affordable access to Uganda's internet ecosystem. We had a chance to listen to some testimonials from customers on what this move signifies to them. So RENU stands for the Research and Education Network for Uganda and uh, it was started by the first chancellors and EDs of the Research and Education Community in Uganda. The idea was to put them in one group, in one network, where they can actually collaborate with one another and exchange ideas in the R&D community of Uganda. But otherwise, we have a couple of other services that we provide to our member institutions. And some of them are actually like, for example, Edurom that you've heard about, things like uh, cloud services, right? Things like uh, web compressing services and the like. My name is Mark Tinker. I look after the engineering department at SICOM, um, based in Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, we are a Pan-African business with operations in uh, East Africa, Southern Africa, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, South Africa, Mozambique. And we've been in the business since 2009 when we launched the first submarine cable system on the East Coast of Africa. Improvements in quality of internet access to a lot of people, but also uh, the reduced price. And I've got to ensure that we extend content from the rest of the world to Africa, video, you know, uh, gaming, that sort of thing with all the partnerships that we've been creating with with well-known uh, services around the world. Uh, the people out there receive content on their smartphones and all these gadgets, but they really never get to know how does this content get to us. And, uh, and, and for me, people like the exchange point coming into a market like ours that still has issues with the internet and, 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 and the cost and um, the mechanics, you know they are such a revelation so because for us if i will talk about your tv channels and the exchange point without uh, the exchange point we can't push out traffic in a way that would help us stay in business you you can push out traffic but then it's a question of how much traffic can you push out uh, um, at such a cost that's crazy and then you stay in business and you say i, I can't survive Okay, so the internet exchange point comes into uh, the picture and then they, they help us uh, uh, push out uh, traffic cost effectively and internet is about uh, experience, okay. You don't want something buffering and buffering and then you can't watch and then eventually you give up, okay. So uh, when the exchange point comes into play then they help you reach out to more people and uh, with fantastic internet uh, speeds, of course. So for the end users, it is difficult. It's definitely performance, right? And from the service provider point of view and NREN point of view, it is reduced cost. And once I have reduced cost, it is reflected downwards to the end user. So the end user also benefit from that. So I would say the exchange is key. Renu is key. The different local players in the country are very key, right? Because that entails reduced cost an increase in the amount of traffic. Uh, with regard to the exchange points, uh, we've been a UXP member for several years now. Um, we connect to them in Kampala at the uh, communications house. Um, and we're excited that they're now extending the site over to Raxio as well. Um, an exchange point is a key uh, infrastructure in the internet ecosystem because it supports the um, diffusion of internet access to a lot of people but most importantly it improves the experience because it localizes traffic and it also attracts traffic from a number of content providers you know the google's netflix's microsoft's and so on and so forth and that only enhances the experience of the customer which for us is the most important thing now raxio is just the other thing that has come to revolutionize this space it allows us to actually expand with the exchange expanding 
So that means different service providers actually being present in the data center reduce the cost. Because if I am already present at Fraxio, the cost of actually laying a link to the exchange point is now zero. Because I'm already, that's my data center, I'm already there, right? And also the cost of upgrading those particular links is just a snap. I don't have to talk with different providers to actually upgrade that link. It's just a snap, it's just an SFP, it's just a connection, and I'm done. So to have a second site in Kampala at Raxio also gives Raxio the opportunity to grow into a massive and important uh, strategic location, uh, not only in Uganda, but in the region that would serve to um, support neighboring countries like Rwanda, Burundi, Congo, Sudan. Um, and data centers are a great magnet as well for concentrating and expanding an ecosystem uh, that was run telecommunications. So um, I think it's uh, it's inevitable and it's also a good thing that the UXP is going to extend into Raxia. We look forward to working with them and also enhancing our own uh, relationship with them in that respect to uh, continue to improve the connectivity in Uganda and surrounding areas um, and also to make it much more affordable but most importantly to improve that customer experience. The internet exchange point for me, I would say, it's the best thing that has happened to Uganda in terms of uh, internet. The UIXP expansion into the Raxio data center is also part of the collaborative industry effort to drive digital economic development by establishing Uganda as a regional content and interconnection hub. Having the UIXP at Raxio data center, this is very exciting for us. Um, and I mean, it's something we've obviously mentioned a few times, but if it's the first time that you're hearing about it from us, it's a really exciting thing. Uh, first of all, the UIXP, which is the Uganda Internet Exchange Point, um, is an ecosystem of 29 uh, peers. We call them peers, but they're basically members uh, who connect to the Internet Exchange Point. Uh, what an Internet Exchange Point t technically does is that it allows local content or local traffic to be switched or exchanged um, in country. So you don't actually have to go to the internet to come back to Uganda. Um, if I'm to put it into perspective, uh, if you're an MTN subscriber sending a message to an Airtel subscriber, that message goes directly without leaving the country. Uh, this could be an email, uh, it could be picking up a file from a, a server that is sitting somewhere else, it could be many different things. Uh, and this goes to all members who are connected to the internet exchange point, whether it's um, internet service providers, whether it's uh, cloud providers, whether it is mobile network providers, everyone who is actually currently connected to the Internet Exchange Point is now also in Raxio. So this is very good for us because one of the core services we deliver uh, is cross-connect. So being able to cross-connect to the Internet ex Exchange Point within Raxio yeah, is a massive thing because not only do you connect to the 29 members who are already around and also the next ones who are coming to connect to the uh, IXP from here, but you also connect to the Raxio um, customers who are already within the building. So this is massive for us um, and maybe you might wonder what this means for your business. It basically means that you save on the amount of traffic that you send to the internet. So it makes your internet obviously cheaper because you're using less bandwidth, but also it reduces on the latency. Latency is basically the speed at which you connect to an application or, or a file. Um, to reduce the latency because all the traffic is staying within um, the same building. So this is massive for us because it gives you higher performance at a lower price. Let me take this opportunity to once again uh, welcome the UIXP, which is the Ghana Internet Exchange Point. Um, the members who run the UIXP, um, the executive board of the IXP, and the 29 members or peers that are already connected to the IXP. And allow me to also encourage you to join the IXP and be part of the bigger community of Uganda. Thank you for tuning in. Have a lovely weekend.